Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Olivia, and this is WLHW. Now let's head over to our first segment. With All right, guys, tell us your name. I'm Kendra Smith. I play the French horn. I'm Alyssa Martin, and I play the flute. What are you guys doing tonight? Uh, we're playing with Monticello. <laughs> For what is this event? Band night. Woohoo! And uh, how is it so far? It's cold. It's really cold, but it's been a lot of fun. Uh -huh. Let's head over to the stock market with Kenneth. Hey Kenneth, how are you doing today? Good. Hi. Hey, I heard that you were doing something called the stock market game. What is the stock market game? It's basically a, it's a stock of trades that people can buy to earn, to earn money or lose money. So what does a stock mean? Do you know what that means? Yes, it's basically an online like store that you can buy from. Okay, and if I wanted to learn more about the stock market game, uh, who should I go talk to? Miss Caps. Miss Caps? Excellent. And when do you guys uh, do the stock market game? Uh, I do it in Avid. And there's other, you can also do it in history if you're Excellent. Thank you so much, Kenneth. And guys, if you want to learn anything more about the stock market game, email Miss Caps at ncaps at k12almar.org. And what's a better way to start your day than with laughs? Let's head over to jokes with Nick and Jacob. Wildcats, and we are back with jokes with Jacob hey, featuring Nicholas. Okay, first joke. Okay, what did the cow say to the other cow? You know what's at stake. <laughs> now let's move. Moving on. Why did the bike fall over? Because it was too tired. <laughs> Okay, so what kind of granola bars does Han Solo eat? Chewy. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that was good. That was good. That was, that was good. Okay. Why did the mushroom host a party? Because he was a fun guy. Kind of like me. Anyway, so that is all we have for you. Bonus joke. Um, what do you call a person without a body or a nose? Nobody knows. And that's it for jokes today. See you next time, Wildcats. Bye! Woo! And because pets are so adorable, did you know that sixth grade has one? Now let's head over to that segment with Kendra as well. Cats, I'm back again. Today we're going to the sixth grade science pet, um, Lola the Hedgehog. <laughs> so they're typically nocturnal, which makes it a little interesting as a class pet, since you guys are not here at night. So she gets out and plays once in a while, and then we bury her in her blankets and she chills, and then she comes out and plays again. No? She doesn't want this time. No, she didn't you're, you're not very smart right now. So, you guys want to tell them where Lola is from? Like where they're found naturally in the wild? You remember when we looked that up? No, it's on the slide. It is on the slide. So, she's a an African pygmy hedgehog, although she's not very pygmy. <laughs> she was a little overweight when we rescued her. So, we bought her an exercise wheel that she runs around on all night. Yep, they have, unfortunately, very bad eyesight. So she relies on her sense of smell, which is why you can see her little nose wiggling all over the place. Um, Lola is um, rescued from Central Coast Hedgehog Rescue. She used to belong to a college student at Radford, um, but the young woman who had her wasn't able to take care of her because college is very busier, busier than she thought. So she relinquished her to the rescue and my family and I are certified rescuers for hedgehogs. And so they let us know that she was at Virginia Beach looking for a home. And we drove down on Labor Day 
and picked her up. Now let's go over to our next segment. Wildcats and we are back with WHW. So we've been looking at some amazing art uh, this past week and uh, we just want to show some of the amazing hard work you guys have been putting in. Uh, my name is Taylor and I'm in seventh grade and this is my food painting. Uh, I uh, painted a donut um, because I like make donuts all the time and they're like my favorite food. Uh, and the background is like purple and blue because those are like my favorite colors and... Hi, my name's Gala and this is my painting. Honestly, I was just kind of going with whatever music I was listening to at that point. So whatever feel the music was giving me. So I just made like random little streaks there. Hi, my name is Logan. I'm in seventh grade. This is my painting. I, this is one of my favorite characters. I made up Potato. I drew him in different forms, like at home or ninja and him being normal. I also drew this when I was listening to music. Just, just made me think about that. So, hi, I'm Alyssa Trilla from like the eighth grade, and I consider myself an artist. And I think like one of the things that I like about my art is like probably like the characteristics of it. Like it's like simple but complicated at the same time. And last but not least, we have sports with Gavin. Hey, Walton Wildcats. I got Gavin Herring here, and he is an expert at sports for Monticello High School and Walt Middle School. Hey, can you tell me a little bit about the uh, Walt Middle School basketball team? Yes, uh, the boys basketball team lost 38 to 17 on the second, if I'm believing. Okay. Did they put in their best game? Yes. Got any highlights you can tell us about? Uh, Thomas Herring, like, absolutely. So. Shot went up, hit the top of the backboard, and dropped right, right back down into the basket. Man. And the girls' basketball team lost 30 to 13 uh, on the fourth. Okay. How about Montreal High School? Have you been up there lately? Uh, the bat, not the basketball team. The football team lost seven to six against Western uh, last week. And the field hockey game, field hockey team has been putting in their best effort. In the past two or three games, I think they've won two, and that's it. Well, that's all for today, Wildcats, and just remember, in case I don't see you, have a good afternoon, a good evening, and a good night.